Welcome inside the Fantasy Stock Exchange. Bush coming at you solo with some breaking news. Uh, it looks like Darius Geis has been arrested on domestic violence charges. Just another uh, not ideal chapter in his young career thus far. Um, JP uh, Finley is the one who reported it. Uh, as you can see with this tweet down here, it says, if Washington releases Darius Geis, so he believes there's a possibility that Geis might actually be cut as a result of this, in terms of a fantasy impact, I wasn't on Darius Geis to begin with. I thought the injury concerns alone were enough to kind of uh, scare him, uh, scare me off of him. Uh, the big question is going to be if Antonio Gibson, who is their third round pick, uh, they spent, I believe it was like the second or third pick of the third round on him uh, this year in the NFL draft on Antonio Gibson. Well, it'll, we'll, it'll be interesting to see if they give him a lot of, of, of work or if it's going to be kind of the Adrian Peterson. Uh, they also have Peyton Barber there, J.D. McKissick, uh, a couple other guys, um, if it's going to be the show of those guys. So, uh, yeah, Darius Geis, as I mentioned, suspended or uh, as arrested on domestic uh, violence charges, possibility that he gets cut from the Redskins. Um, he's, I mean, he was going around the sixth or seventh round, so this is a pretty big deal if you've had your draft already. Unfortunately for you, if you have drafted Darius Geis, it looks like he's going to probably – at least not play for the Redskins this year. Um, but <laughs> fire up those Adrian Peterson shares. And if you own Antonio Gibson in Dynasty, chances are he's going to be a very, very hot commodity right now. So if someone's willing to overpay for Antonio Gibson, I'd be willing to sell him. I don't think I would go out and buy Antonio Gibson because uh, he, he had minimal touches at Memphis. He wasn't heavily involved uh, in their uh, game plan. So I would assume that Washington isn't just going to give him a three down bell cow workload right away. Like some people might assume, I know he has great measurables and his player profile comparison is, is Joe Mixon, but I mean, you can't really expect too much from a guy who had uh, minimal career touches. So I I'd imagine it's going to be Adrian Peterson's show um, at least for the first uh, half or so of the season.